Rachel, I've spent uh, a lot of time full of hate. And there was no one who I thought I hated more than you. And I've had a lot of bumps in the road over the past couple years, and I've come to realize that the only thing I really hated was the thing wrestling was making me think. Because, you know, when I, when I first fell in love with wrestling, I was just a little kid, and I decided that I was going to be the best wrestler anyone had ever seen. And I was going to love wrestling more than anyone and work harder than anyone, and that was all that mattered. And I, I was still a kid when I got into wrestling, you know, I was, I was 15 years old. And I had to realize really quickly that none of that stuff that I thought mattered really did. Because it didn't matter how much I loved wrestling or how hard I was willing to work or even how good I was. I, I was a woman and I wasn't allowed to be the best wrestler ever. I was allowed to be the best diva ever, or the best knockout ever, or the best model anyone had ever seen. But I wasn't allowed to be the best wrestler ever, it just, it wasn't even an option. And it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair that people told me that my dreams were, weren't were allowed and that something was wrong with them. And I spent years trying to run away from it. I spent years thinking that it didn't bother me and that it was okay. I traveled all around the world thinking that if I just worked hard enough and wrestled enough and became good enough that everything people said didn't really matter. And it was exhausting. It was exhausting to be fighting a fight that I didn't sign up for and wasn't prepared for. And it was exhausting to have to explain to people why I was allowed to have dreams too. And I remember the day that it became too much. I remember the day that my childhood hero looked me in the face and said that I would never be good for anything but tits and ass. And it just, it crushed me. It broke me. And I decided that day that I couldn't run away from it anymore. And I was going to go somewhere and create a place where we could just wrestle. I mean, where we could walk in and love wrestling and work hard, and that was all that would matter. And ACW became that place for me. And I gave everything I had to make the American Joshi division a place where any woman could walk into and as long as they loved wrestling and worked hard enough and became good enough, they could be stars. And the American Joshi division is that place. But by the time it became that place, I couldn't even enjoy it. I couldn't be happy. I had lost the hope that I had as a kid. And I tried to get it back. I worked so hard to be just the best wrestler that I could. And I won championships and I won trophies and none of it was good enough because the dreams just weren't there anymore. And I've been sitting at home for months now at this crossroads between the wrestler that I am and the person that it made me. And I've realized that all along, you're the person who built the American Joshi division with me. And when I walked out of ACW and I gave up hope, you're the one who's still been there fighting. You're the one who still has hope. And you've been there fighting by yourself. And this whole time I've been sitting here, Angel Blue has been parading around with the American Joshi Championship not even knowing what it stands for or what it means to any of us. And Rachel, I know that you have no reason to like me, and I know that you have no reason to trust me. But I know that after everything we've put each other through, that we can at least say that we respect each other. You and I have spilled blood for the American Joshi Championship. We've fought through injuries. We've fought through everything we've had to. 
to make the American Joshi division something special. And Rachel, you've been fighting this fight by yourself for so long. And on May 20th, you have the opportunity to pick a tag team partner to fight with you. And you have no reason to do me any favors, Rachel. But if you're looking for someone to stand beside you, I hope that you pick me.